Hello everybody, you are listening to English Made Simple. This is episode 16, numero 16. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Whoa. I can't believe this is episode 16. Welcome, my name is Milena. Thank you for joining me. Hey, I had too many glasses of wine. <laughs> A bit crazy tonight, A bit crazy. Thank you for joining me and welcome to uh, new listeners. We've got some new countries uh, tuning in to this episode. We have some new countries from Europe, Poland, Bulgaria, Switzerland and Sweden and Norway. Hello. And we have some new countries from Southeast Asia, Philippines. Hey guys and welcome guys. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed my last episode about collocations. I hope you got at least one collocation that you can remember from the last episode, okay? If you haven't listened to it yet, please go back and listen to it now, okay? So let's get this show started, guys. This show, this episode is going to be about uh, the verb to get. Why are we talking about the verb to get? Get is a very interesting, very mysterious word, get. It can be used in a lot of different ways. Oh, there's just so many different meanings, all right? If you go online and check Weon Inteligente, or <laughs> I call Weon Inteligente is a Cambridge Dictionary online, or just Google the word to get, and you will get a lot of results. Okay, you will get a lot of results if you just want to find out the meaning of the verb to get. All right, first of all, to get means to receive or to have or to obtain. Okay, that's the, the most common use of the verb to get. The past tense of the verb to get is got. And the participle is also got, or some people say gotten as well. But you can use got or gotten. It's fine, okay? So it's get, got, gotten, or get, got, got. Radio, the verb to get. It can be used in a lot of different ways. Before we start, I, want, I just want to say that I really want to teach you conversational English. I really want to teach you how to speak English, how to be comfortable speaking English with natives. Native speakers use phrasal verbs, they use collocations, idioms, expressions. This is what you need to learn if you want to speak English. I, I don't know if they teach you this in schools, <laughs> but it's a very good thing to know and it's very good to know for your English exams like IELTS and TOEFL, all right? So, let's get this show started. Uh, the verb to get is also irregular verb, right? So, I already said that the past tense is got. It's irregular verb. There's so many different irregular verbs in the English language. The best way to learn irregular verbs is... To remember them, memorize them. That's the only way. <laughs> memorize irregular verbs. That's really the only. That sucks, you know. Sucks is slang. You know, it sucks, but you know, you gotta do it. Ha! You have to do it. You just gotta do it. See, I just used the verb to get. I used the verb to get a few times in my introduction now. So, the most common meaning of the verb to get is to have, like tener. To have, to receive, to obtain. All right. I've said this already. So, here's my example. Can I get a cup of coffee, please? When you go to a restaurant, I'll just get a cup of coffee. Uh, I'll just get a glass of water. I will just have a glass of water. I will just get a glass of red wine. Get and have. I have to go. Tengo que ir. I have to go. I got to go. Or you can say, I gotta go. If you're feeling lazy, if you're feeling lazy, flojos, then you can say, I gotta go. Just say it quickly. 
I gotta go. <laughs> okay, that's gonna make you sound fluent. That's how people speak. Uh, that's how native speakers speak. Oh man, I gotta go. Okay, I gotta go. I have to go. Tengo que ir. Most common ways to use the verb to get. To understand. Do you get what I am saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Do you understand what I am saying now? Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Do you understand what I mean? <laughs> okay. So you can use the verb to get and understand interchangeably. Another meaning for the verb to get, uh, to go or to come or to arrive. Okay. Uh, I Last night I got home at eight o'clock means I arrived home at eight o'clock you can use the get instead of arrive it's used a lot it's a lot used in a lot of different ways let's start with the phrasal verbs now phrasal verbs of the verb to get ah there's just so many so many of the <laughs> phrasal verbs right there's so many phrasal verbs um to get around for example, if you're traveling uh, to a foreign country, if you're traveling overseas uh, internationally, and let's say you go to Hong Kong, you know, it's a busy, busy city. And yeah, it's, a, it's crazy busy, you know, it's full of people. It's really hard to get around, you know, like really hard to, to find your way. Let's get to work, people. <laughs> okay, let's get to work. Get to work. Let's start work. Let's start doing something. Let's get to work. Uh, did you get to listen to the last episode of English Made Simple? Did you get to listen to the last episode? Means, did you manage? Did you have time to listen to it? Did you have time? Did you get to do it? Did you get to listen to it? And we also use it when we meet with friends. Sometimes I get together with my friends for lunch. Uh, get together in this case means reunirse so we meet together for lunch we get together that's what it means do you remember one of my uh, first few episodes uh, introduction to phrasal verbs and I said get up okay despertar despertarse I get up every morning around eight o'clock I get up every morning get up phrasal verb very common to use get up get ready so i get up every morning around 8 a.m and i get ready for work so i need to get up early to get ready for work get ready to prepare myself for work get ready so if you really enjoy this episode please share it with your friends before we finish some of the popular idioms of using the verb to get or the, the word get uh, is get out of here okay get out of here largate uh, largate de, de aquí get out of here get out of here if you want to learn english you need to get out there and talk to native speakers you need to practice your english you need to get out there somewhere go outside and talk to people get out there all right these are the most common ways to use the verb to get. There's heaps of them. There's a lot of different ways you can use the verb to get. But I hope in this episode you learn at least one. I'm going to share more ways to use the verb to get in my Facebook group. So if you haven't joined yet, please do so. Go to English Made Simple. Just search for this in Facebook. Hey, thank you for joining me and until next time guys, until next time, talk to you guys soon. Bye.